Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Tipping the Scales. It's your girl, T. My homegirl, Shay, is super duper busy doing her thing right now. Uh, GM at OTE, killing the game. Can we just give a little soul clap for Shay right now? Yeah. Just keep doing your thing, mama. I'm so proud. So it's the favorite part of, I would say, your favorite part of our one of our favorite episodes on Tipping the Scales uh, is Tea with Tea. And a few of our tippers would hit me up, ask me about how are things going with Brother Muhammad. So I figured why not bring on the real, actual Brother Muhammad. So, hey, boo. Hey, what's up, girl? <laughs> how you doing? Great, great. You know, I feel honored to be sitting in Shay's seat for the day. You know, I know I can't duplicate the performance, but I'm here and glad to be here. Great. So listen, of course, everyone wants to know like, oh my God, you haven't been really talking about Brother Muhammad lately. Is everything okay? You guys still together. So yes, we're still together, still going strong. I'm sure I'm getting on his nerves, but uh, it's been going strong ever since Hinge, right? I would say so. You know, I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm waving a white checker flag right now because I'm winning. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag he is winning. He's so, definitely winning. I mean, could you believe, uh, literally guys, we were, Brother Muhammad and I were talking earlier today, just how crazy it's been. Like from our first call from Hinge, we, we've been on, we pretty much spoken every single day since then and never looked back. So that's pretty hella cool. And I don't know, babe, how, how has this whole journey been for you so far? I think it's been a great journey. I think a lot of the stars have been in alignment. <laughs> <laughs> that, you know, <laughs> you know. I think the things have come together very well. You know, yeah. the dating scene is hard out here, and you yeah. know, I just feel like um, we've been fortunate to find uh, each other in the midst mm -hmm. of a crazy uh, dating world. And for yeah. things to come together the way they have, I just feel very grateful and optimistic about moving forward. I love that. Isn't he good, guys? This is how he. <laughs> this is how he had me falling because she. He always says the right thing low-key behind the scenes I call him Dr. Seuss because you know he's like a good storyteller so I figure so I know he's gonna just like I don't know he just always says the right words it pisses me off but I heart him I can't help myself <laughs> uh, <laughs> I could tell you for me uh I agree though if you would ask me the same question I would say it's definitely been quite the journey and before you and I found each other on our pod I've been really talking about just the challenges of dating and how I really didn't open myself up and allow myself to really just let go and love. Like that was a huge void for me. And I think what I've used in the past is just the busyness of my jobs and trying to really push for success and not really open myself up to just be vulnerable so that I can just find love. So this has been quite the journey for me because I'm sure you can remember how hard it was for me just to be vulnerable in the beginning. You remember well, that? I definitely remember. And I'm glad <laughs> that, um, you know, it was me who you decided to step out on faith and, you Aww. know, be courageous with love with, you know, so Aww. I'm happy it was me. And uh, <laughs> I've learned a lot from the experience as well. And I admire your courage to do so. I just think that it's bode well for our relationship, you know. Um, yeah. I've taken a few steps myself, you know, in the right direction. And um, as far as like being a good partner, a better partner in relationships. And I think yeah. that um, our communication and our transparency, we kind of help each other be better. Yeah, and, great. Um, I appreciate the journey. You know, like you said, we've spoken every day since the first time we spoke. I think a lot of things have... Um, you know, come together organically. Mm -hmm. and, I agree. Yeah, and I just feel it. And, I, and then even where there's um, uh, imperfection, I would say, in our relationship journey, I think we've done well with conflict resolution, you know, being good listeners for one another. I just think mm -hmm. that dating and love, you got to be a good listener. And so, For sure. Yeah. yeah, I would say too, like, that has been a challenge because he always reminds me, it's like, you're not at work. Remember where you are, like, gotta 
check that part out. And that was important to me because just me feeling like I always have to be in control. You know, this is the first time where I have to take a step back to just not feel like I need to be in control and just have a very mutual, respectful relationship where we both can just be good advisors to each other and just really enjoy each each other as part of this overall experience. So I have to thank yeah. you for that. You've, you know, I would say guys in the past, you know, who I've dated has struggled with that just with me being successful. It was just always a point of contention um, in terms of, oh, you know, you want to lead. And it was never, that has never been an issue with the, with us, but I feel like it didn't have to be an issue because it was something that I just knew that I wanted to do in order for us to to be happy and for me to be happy and really just let myself go to fall into this experience. And, um, you know, I was, when we first met, I didn't really know about your relationships. I mean, about your success. So for me, I was, you know, just pretty much trying to lock into you for who you were. You know, I yeah. liked who you were as a person. What did you and, like about me, specifically? <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I think you're funny. I think you're hilarious, you know. A little uh, bit, a little bit. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> and I, I felt like you were very, you were a natural. You were just natural. I felt like you weren't putting on for me or you weren't trying to be someone else to, like, maybe impress me. I just felt um, very comfortable from the very first time we met with just how you presented yourself. And you know, mm. you made you made me feel comfortable on a first date, and so uh, yeah, <laughs> it's just, it's just, I think it's just your overall um, your overall swag and personality. I just think that you know you're one to make others feel comfortable, and so it worked well for me, and um, still continues to work well for me in that regard. I feel comfortable with being transparent and um, just talking mm. openly with you. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I just think those are just good relationship builders, you know, just the way we talk and communicate and Absolutely. how we work through stuff. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, and what would you say, so, you know, on previous episodes, Shay and I uh, talked about just how difficult it is for sometimes when women, the more successful you are, the harder it is to find love. And that has been something we talked about on previous, like I, I would say at least several episodes and just being on the other side of it, how would you say it is just dating someone with, that's that's just someone like me, like just very yeah. successful and driven. How do you balance that out to, 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 to make things work? I think it's important to be um, comfortable with who you are as far as yeah. myself. I mean, being comfortable with who I am, being mm -hmm. confident and self-assured about who I am. And then when I do that, then I can also um, appreciate you for who you are, you know, yeah. behind, you know, who you are occupationally or whatever, just appreciate you as a person. And so um, being that I'm comfortable with myself, I have a, you know, I feel confident about myself. I'm not in, uh, apprehensive or intimidated about your own success. Actually, I like to consider myself to be your cheerleader. You know, um, I like to. Uh, That's a I, like, <laughs> I like. I like to see you do well in your giftings and your talent. And so, when I see you perform well in your job and handle meetings the way you handle meetings and things, I like. I appreciate that that you're that person, but you can still be very personable with me also. Yeah. See that? See Dr. Seuss? Look at him. Isn't he good? I, to <laughs> I told you guys. Um, I would say for me, the hardest part of our journey thus far has been just accepting that it's okay to love. I, for, I don't know why. And maybe it's a place of fear or just maybe afraid of getting hurt. But you know, you know, I pride myself in being authentic with our tippers. And I just have to say that this is that the beginning stages was a little rough for me personally. And I'm sure just put a lot of just unnecessary stress for Brother Muhammad because I just was always nervous about like, then what happens? And what if it doesn't work? And I just really struggled, guys, with just allowing myself to be loved. So if I can give any advice today would be to just let go and just be authentic. And, you know, you've got heard this before, trust the process. Like you really just have to trust it and understand that relationships is going to have its ups and downs. It's going to have its unique challenges. But if you are really 
into your partner, then you'll make it work. And that's how I feel with him. It's like, I'm happy. I'm truly in love. I love you, babe. I really yeah, do. I love you too, mama. <laughs> uh, and just saying those words out of my mouth gives me pause. I don't know. How have you felt about it, babe? Like, cause I, would you say I've been a little afraid to love since the very beginning? I think you were a little, a little nervous. I, I, I could see a little nervousness at the beginning about that. <laughs> and even, even trusting yourself in that space, you know, you, I remember one time you mentioned like, you know, I don't like not having control. I don't, li- uh-huh. not, I don't like mm-hmm. feeling like this. Yeah. And um, I think it's important to also remember that you're not going to get the finished outcome of the relationship in the beginning. Yeah, you know, a lot true. of times we, you know, we, we try to have the finished product first. Yeah. I think it was, good, you know, just to understand your person, you know, uh, through communication, you explained, you know, where you were. And so I felt like, you know, Sis is definitely worth this, you know. What I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Let's work through this thing, you know. And um, I just felt like just knowing was half the battle, like knowing that that was your area of challenge, and just kind of just work through it. And it, I think that you know you've done very well with it, you know. And I think that um, the longer you've been in that space, the better you've done with it. So yeah, you're not you're not where you started. Yeah. Oh, where well, do you go, guys? That's T with T. That's my boo, Brother Muhammad. I heart him. And for those of you who hit me up, we are going strong, hot, and heavy. Ow. That's right. <laughs> so That's <right>. thank you. <laughs> thank you guys for listening. Please continue to follow Tipping the Scales wherever you get the podcast. Shay and I love you. We appreciate you and look forward to having you back. Bye. Amen. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>